604 shocking statistic to tell you about. The number of babies dying doubles in one of Rhode Island's largest cities. And this morning, officials are saying child abuse is primarily to blame for this tragic trend. Eyewitness News reporter Jody Fournier has more on the story from the mobile newsroom. When it comes to child neglect and abuse and also infant mortality rates in Rhode Island, Woonsocket has some really disturbing numbers. And Rhode Island Kids Count says they can't stress enough to parents how important it is to put your children first. Their future depends on it. Back in 2004, three-year-old T.J. Wright was beaten to death while living with his aunt and her boyfriend in Woonsocket. Three years later, stats just released show he is not alone when it comes to child abuse and neglect there. Rhode Island Kids Count Deputy Director Catherine Walsh. There's a lot of need in that community. Take a look at these numbers. Woonsocket has the second highest child abuse and neglect rate in the state. In 2006, there were 21.4 cases of child abuse and neglect per 1,000 children. The infant mortality rate in that city, also high. There were 28 infant deaths from 2001 to 2005. That's double the number of infant deaths over the previous five years. Um, so what we see in Woonsocket is we know that's a very high poverty community. We know there are social issues there. So you would tend to see higher rates um, because families are under a great deal of stress. Kids Count and DCYF say special programs for families in Woonsocket are helping, but there's certainly room for improvement. We really need to continue to in increase the amount of attention that we're giving to struggling families um, because we know they're out there and we know that they need the support. As a society, we can all be doing more to address these issues. And we're told there is a great program in Woonsocket that does seem to be making a difference. It's called Family Support Network. The number's right there on your screen, 401-766-0900. They're located on Main Street. We're live at the Mobile News in this morning. Jody Fournier, Eyewitness News.